Well, anyway. Alright. Evelyn! Who is this? George. A friend. We have a situation I'm hoping you'll help with. Evelyn, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. But uh, we've got a situation of our own brewing. Our um, Spanish friends want us to hand these supplies over to some, how do you say, patriot, at the edge of the swamp. Patriots. Well, you know, from the north. A rebellion, upheaval, etc. A business opportunity by any other name. But for some reason, the Spanish soldiers keep trying to steal the supplies back. This sounds awfully familiar. You don't think... Oh, I try never to think. <laughs> Suppose George and I were to help you with your rogue Spanish soldier problem. Would your patriot friends escort him north? If they want more supplies, they'll accept. Good. Let's go. All right. All right. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Jump on the rod. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna get 100 percent, but okay. get a gun. Equip it first, my help. There we go. What do you think I'm shooting? More up ahead. That's worth the reloadings. At least he helped. Doing all right so far. Get him. They're going to kill us. All right. Oh, no. Out We're taking way. a lot of damage. Just one last outpost up ahead. Where is it? Where's the last one?
we made it. Ahoy! Ahoy, matey. Upton? Hopton. Enchanté. These are the goods? Everything the Gouverneur promised. And a few uh, bonus items from your friends in the bayou. Excellent. You weren't detected, I hope? Not by any who still breathes. <laughs> Monsieur Hopton, how secret is your arrangement with our Spanish Gouverneur? Any fool can see the Spanish want to keep the English out of their territory. Any sense why Spanish soldiers would be shooting at us? We did meet one man who didn't seem so keen on the arrangement. Contrary fellow. Vasquez, I think was his name? The company man is here. The what man? <coughs> uh, Monsieur Hopton, if you want your supplies to make it out of La Louisiane, additional security would be wise. May I suggest George accompany you? Certainly. If he's willing to fight, the Patriot cause will be glad to have him. I will fight for you, sir. Over any cause. Be careful, Monsieur Hopton. I hope to see you again. Um, Monsieur Roussillon and I value your business. I will. The, uh, Patriots value your support. Okay. <laughs> Alligators. Then get back to New Orleans. Too slow. Try that again. Ah. Ah. Too slow with the buttons. Steal some of its eggs.
All right, almost there. Do not trust them. I know the truth. Okay. There he is. Something yellow. A small gesture, hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse, or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gerald, if my father hadn't freed my mother, I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better. Hmm. Okay. Got this time. Aveline, Gerald, he is back. Vasquez, the company man. Have any of your informants seen him? No. Aveline, since last week I have lost two of my men. Killed. Poison. <sighs> this is his work. I must find him. Perhaps he will attend the Capitan's Ball this evening. Shall I confirm your attendance? Oui. Thank you, Gerald. And, um, Aveline, I... You will need someone to accompany you. I don't suppose... Gerald, are you asking to accompany me? Uh, well... Oui. Uh, for, um, uh, blending purposes, I believe it would be best. Uh, strictly business, <coughs> of course. Of course. But not too strict, I hope.
Alright. Let's mingle. Revolution! <laughs> what a noble concept! Of course, war is always good for business. Particularly a war that's not in our territory. The good Spanish governor provides the goods. I relay them to my associates in the bayou. And they handle the... transfer. Completely bloodless. <laughs> for me! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Aveline. Lovely as ever. How does your father fare? Stubborn as always. I look forward to seeing him on his feet so. You must allow me one dance, that I may showcase your grace in your father's stead. That is very kind, Monsieur de saint maxin And if you could perhaps waltz me by your esteemed associate in the blue cravat, I have a business opportunity I'd like to put before him. Evelyn, always so serious. Nothing like my daughter Marie Felicité. Okay. Talk to this group over here. Beneath the uniform, he is no true military man, I assure you. But twice, the recruiters have approached me, claiming to offer me promotion if I'll serve in his secret unit. But I don't trust it, no, senor. Good man. We could use more young men like you, with a head on their shoulders. Good evening, senorita. Uh, you look familiar. Uh, were you at the governor's dinner party last week? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't remember your name. Perfectly understandable for a man with such important affairs as yours, Capitan. Thank goodness for your service in the colony. The thanks is all mine, senorita. Will you allow me to express it with a dance? Why, certainly, Capitan. I should warn you to be careful, senorita. Even here at this delightful party, the danger is present. All soldiers are not what they appear. We were just discussing a terrible man. How scandalous! Is he here tonight? He is, at this moment, seated at a secluded table. Until the gavotte, Capitan. I shall think of nothing else. <laughs> And last group, by the looks of it. Who oh, do you think I should marry? <laughs> uh, whichever of us is the best dancer. You would have me dance with all of you? I shall be exhausted. Please, senorita, allow me to save you the trouble. You need only dance with me. <laughs> Marie Felicité, I thought the Duce Maxon girls only had eyes for governors. Now, who is this? Senorita, give us your name, that we may know how to address the fairest woman at the bar. Fair? I think not. But still, your complexion is beguiling. Uh, please, Senorita, allow me to complete your dance card. I'm afraid it's already full. That is simply her way. Have you heard? She prefers her father's warehouse to two parties. Never calls on any of us. And her complexion? <laughs> of course she's a dear friend of the family, but her mother? What is shocking? Alright. Where's Vasquez? Where is he? There he is. Senorita. Why, I do believe the minuet is the next dance, Senor Vasquez. Si, si.
Can we retire somewhere private to discuss it? Si, si. Lead the way. Okay, up there. Good night, company man. Company man? <laughs> no. You are mistaken. What? <laughs> Futile murder. And beautiful death. She will make you suffer. Madeleine! Aveline. I did not know you were attending. I came only to find you. How could you? A ball with your father on its deathbed. I... Save your words. It is too late. He is gone. Papa! No. I am so sorry. But you had to know with your circumstances that he could not leave you anything. Of course, my house remains open to you. I care not about his will. Only that he has gone. His business is in my name, but I consider it yours. The law has no place between us. Although the reconstruction of our network has required an investment of several years, the help of our American friends means we can now reach further than before. One of our newest informants sends word of a loyalist in New York who might, with a little pressure, unmask the company man. Please, go to New York and find your brother Connor. I have enlisted his help in locating Officer Davidson of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian Regiment. I'm Aveline de Grand Prix, your brother from New Orleans. Yes. Achilles told me you would come. 
I seek a loyalist. Officer Davidson, of Lord Dunmore's Ethiopian regiment. That regiment passed through here. Look at the destruction they left. Their trail leads this way. We will follow them carefully. Over there! Through the trees! A trap! Keep after the sentry. I will hold off these men. Okay. Get this guy. Yep. Unhand me. One chance to keep your life. Where is Davidson? Who? Come on, time's up. He's in the fort. That was easy. Why is it you call yourselves loyalists again? Easier to be loyal in the safety of the fort than out in the snow with a knife to your neck. Run home, now, and don't let me see you again. You won't be able to run then. Yes, ma'am. To the fort! We climb. See if they're making less than one minute, probably not. <laughs> oh crap. And we're dead. <laughs> nice. Okay, that went badly. <laughs> Just a minor slip. Let's try that again. I think it was meant to. Hang on it, not walk on it. What's it? <laughs> now there. That's where I was meant to go. Carefully this time. Okay, now we seem to be getting somewhere. <laughs> and done. Here we go. I'll wipe that smirk off of her face. So that went pretty well. Oh, spoke too soon. Connor, hurry up. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, crap. Can you get across? Probably not. On this side first, I think. Jump it, obviously not. Let's try that again. Oh, hang on, I think I'm. I think I'm Can you get them. across? Uh, maybe. Okay, now I know what I have to do. I didn't need to jump off. I'm gonna jump up. See what you had did. Not going well, but. Okay, let's try that. Can you again. get across? <laughs> Maybe. when you think about it, which I didn't before. Huh. Okay, now just... There we go. Finally got there. Find a way in. I will go around and divert attention. Yeah, we'll do this 
guy here. See ya. What? George? Is it you? Officer Davidson. If you would kindly pay me the respect my rock commands now. Fighting for the British? And working for my enemy who would enslave you? I'll say something's rank. Ha! Huh. <laughs> the loyalists have guaranteed my freedom. I will fight for it and win it for myself. Meanwhile, the slaves and the poor are targets in New Orleans. And you play the hero in New York. Who do you serve? And do you really think yourself free? Charity should begin at himself, Miss Avelina. Yeah, here we go. Now. <laughs> I'm almost dead. Right. See, don't go. Almost had him, I think. We should try shooting him more often. We're gonna do this again. Oh, it's a bunch of the noise, it does it. Yeah, I'm making the last one this time. Oh, that punch. Damn. Damn, Davidson. Punch that gets me every time. I get some help up. Damn. Takes too long to. This is not going well. Didn't keep punching me. Oh, 
keep walking in. Let's walk into the punch. Punch that does it. Try and get some health up. Man, that was terrible. Oh, man. George is pretty good. I'm pretty dead. So is that punch. Every time. He always gets me every time. There's that punch. Make it, but I've got to be able to get up there somehow. No, that's not what I want to do. I didn't even see that there. Well, at least we'll know next time. Damn. All right. <laughs> this hasn't been going well. At least I know where to go this time. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, yep, I can see it crack. I've got 23. Yep, should make it. Made it that time. it would not come to this now in death eternal freedom you mock me I chose my destiny that is real freedom perhaps one day you will know it too I who is the company man <laughs> the answer has been in your own backyard all along just Open your eye. <sighs> Did you find what you sought? We, oui. and much that I didn't. Connor, are you always certain? ...in the means and ways of the Brotherhood? I... ...trust my own hands. Of course. Travel safely. It's the arrival that concerns me. <laughs> then you are on the right path. Alright, I'm gonna finish up now. And I'll... ...see you again soon. Have a good day.